Hey guys, just wanted to make a real quick safety PSA kind of video. This is going to be about making high voltage measurements with an oscilloscope. Now safety is the number one concern here, so I have two methods that I like to use. One is just a plain old AC wall work. Not a DC one, but an AC. It's got to have AC out and make sure it doesn't have a ground pin here. The other way, which is the preferred way, is the high voltage isolation probe. And I guess there's a third way, and that's using one of those battery powered portable oscilloscopes. That should be pretty safe as long as you pay attention what you're doing. They do potentially pose a danger if you plug in the USB cable and then plug that USB cable into your computer. And there's your ground circuit right there because the ground on the USB is an earth ground. So let's get into the video. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this scope is hooked up to the Solus S6 right now. You can see this is the backup port and you can follow the conduit along here. It goes up into the breaker box and then I've got the probes. One of them is connected to one of the breakers and the other one's on the neutral. And we come down, uh, twisted probe wires, keeps noise down. Then we have the differential probes here, comes down and into the oscilloscope. So there's basically two ways that I like to do this to stay safe. You don't want to just willy-nilly go connecting up to the breakers with just standard scope probes like, like this one here because you're going to be running into trouble. Especially with a scope that's mains powered, you've got this ground clip on the scope probe is tied through the connectors here, the BNC connectors, right to the ground lead on your power cable. So it's actually earth grounded. And if you connect the ground clip to the wrong spot, probably this wire is going to melt first. And if you're lucky, your scope will survive it. But if you're holding this thing the wrong way, you know, you could end up melting through your fingers. 